everybody, welcome back. It's Tasha here. I am here today with my BoxyCharm Face Box unboxing for the month of February. So please stick around. We'll jump into that in just a second. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that are new here, my name is Tasha and on my channel, typically I do all things makeup. Unboxings, box reviews, try-ons, hauls, all things like that. So if that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the family. And when I do hit 50, I will do a big giveaway. So please join, um, check me out. Without any more talk, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the base box for February. So I literally just received this from BoxyCharm and I was super excited because this month is the month of love. So that is kind of BoxyCharm's theme. Um, XO, XO, and so we are going to jump right into the base box. So the first thing that is right on top is the Ace Beauté palette. Um, and this does come in a beautiful packaging. Sorry, it's going to take me a second just to open it here because I'm not smart enough to leave my, um, my knife to open things in here. <laughs> Hold on a moment. I say that a lot. I always hate that they put things in these pretty boxes and then make it so dang hard that you gotta rip the packaging to get it out. Okay, here we go. So beautiful packaging, of course. It is just a little bit embossed here. As you can see, some of the packaging is shiny and some of it is not, which I do really like. And it is an eyeshadow palette that I am in love with the shades. Um, so there are the shades right there. I am super interested to swatch this purple. Purples tend to be a harder color to um, do, so we're gonna swatch that one right away. It is a matte color. Wow, 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 wow. So that is beautiful, beautiful. Um, and let's, this is actually a metallic. Let's swatch one of the metallics here. We're gonna swatch it right under. And that is beautiful too. I am super excited for this palette. It looks like a beautiful kind of springish-ishness going on. Good, good, good eyeshadow colors. They look very, very pigmented, very pigmented even on the swatch. Excited about that. Um, and the retail value for the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette is $38. So first product right there. Um, next product that I see is, oh, wah wah. Um, so this is the Lovato Age Away Hydrating Cream. This is a moisturizer that is clinically proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and improve skin texture. A high concentration of plant actives, including antioxidant rich shea, sorry, sea buckthorn, an evening primrose seed oil, also rich in fatty acid, promotes cellular regeneration to restore elasticity and firmness. Retail value $55. I had this from a BoxyCharm previously, literally the same exact product. Um, I am a little disappointed to get the same product that I got, um, I mean, it's probably been six months ago in a BoxyCharm, but even still, the same exact product. There are so many products on the market that I don't, I feel like you shouldn't get a repeat. At any rate, I'm not going to even open this because I have one somewhere that is open. I don't want to open this. I'll put this in a giveaway. Um, I do like the idea that it has some plant extracts to help with fine lines and wrinkles. There you go. So we won't even talk about that anymore. The next product is from Wander Beauty. And so this is the Double Date Lip and Cheek. So this is a lightweight duo that is a sheer tint with a universal balm that can be used alone or layered on lips and cheeks. Retail value $24, $22. Dollars. I don't know where I got the four there from and it is completely sealed up here <laughs> So I've had a glass of wine with dinner And I'm not as Fine motor skill coordinated as I usually am <laughs> Okay, there we go So $22 let's check out this wander beauty 
Oh, and it's just a... I was thinking when they said duo that it would be two different colors, but it literally is... Oh, it really... Okay. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Um, so we have a color here. This is cream color. I am going to do it on a finger that's not swatched right here. And I'm going to put it right underneath everything. And that is a beautiful color, kind of a pink carnation color. Um, but it is a cream product, which I do like cream products. I do tend to have to set them, but very, very pretty. It does blend away pretty easily there. And then they also, though, have a sheer color and a mirror in this kind of little get up. Yeah, that's not the right word, but anyways. So this is kind of a balm here. It is clear, so you can't see anything. But for a tinted balm for the lips, certainly you could use this for the lips, or it does say for cheeks as well. I'd be interested to see how it performs on the cheeks as a blush. So we will definitely try that. It doesn't smell like anything. I kind of like that. That's super cool in that little packaging right there. I love the packaging. It's kind of that light clear pink color, very compact with both of them in there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The next product that I have in here is a Saint Lux Lip Duo. So this is a long lasting hydrated formula. The liner glides on smoothly and adds a little to no effort look. $40 for two. Uh, I guess that's not $20 a lip liner. I don't know, that kind of seems kind of expensive there. Um, so there are two. There's one that's a little more brown, one that's a little more berry. Let's go ahead and swatch these on the hand. I do love, they are not twist up, they are actually sharpened, which I'm not sure what I think, but I do love the colors. So there is that kind of a brownish color. And then this is the berry color right next to it. And they do feel nice and creamy. I do like that. The colors are really pretty. I do have to say I have a Thrive lip liner that is similar to this that is so much creamier, but I will absolutely try these out. I am always on the lookout for a great liner. So absolutely will try these $40 for two. And then the last product is a Hunkin product here. This is the Hand Skin Hyaluronic Skin Essence. Developed by the inventors of K-Beauty, this hydrating essence helps you achieve glass skin with sodium hyaluronate, a powerful moisturizer capable of holding up to a thousand times its weight in water. This cushy, non-sticky formula instantly quenches and restores your skin's natural glow. $40 is the retail value. Let's check this out. Directions are use after washing the face. Hmm. Warnings for external use only. Avoid eyes. If adverse reaction happens, stop using, of course. Do not use over puncture, wounds, animal bites, or serious burns. Well, let's open this up and see. Oh, it's not even sealed. There you go. Beautiful bottle. Nice pink cap, see-through. It is very simple on the front. I do like all of that. Very K-Beauty-esque in the look here. It is a five-in-one, so it is moisturizing, skin glowing, skin boosting, skin balancing, and skin softening. It is free of the six types of paraben, um, alcohol, all artificial fragrances, which I do really appreciate. Uh, let's smell this. Oh, and it is one of those shaker tops. I love that it's sealed. Uh, yeah. Huh. We'll put just a tiny bit right there. You can see it just looks like water. It literally doesn't smell like anything at all. And it feels kind of, I know it sounds weird, but it feels kind of silicone-y. Although there's not silicone in it. 
Uh, I keep smelling it and I don't know why because there's no smell. I'm interested to try this. I am... Hmm. Well, there you go. I'm interested to try this. My skin is typically dry, so I do layer products. So this would be a really nice layering product. Um, with the type of product that it is, you do have to, very similar to hyaluronic acid, you do have to have a moisturizing thing in place. So typically when you layer this, you'll put this down and then put a moisturizer on top of it or vice versa. Typically though with this, you would put this down first, then a moisturizer, then kind of a um, emollient that will seal everything in like a squalane or those kind of a... a things that are occlusive to kind of keep everything together so that this will keep the moisturizer and kind of suck it into the skin, if that makes sense. I know that's a terrible description, um, but really this kind of pulls everything in. So you do need to provide some kind of hydration with this to get the maximum benefit. So I'm excited to see how this works. So that was my base box, BoxyCharm for February. I have Again, these numbers are crazy. C2102011BA is my <laughs> variation. Um, and definitely worth the price. There are a couple of products that I probably would not typically try and definitely am disappointed by this since I have it already. Um, but the other products I'm excited to see what I think about. What did you guys think about your base box boxy charm? What'd you get? Anything you're super excited to try? Drop me a line and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I loved having you here. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.